I was so upset because I'm like, here is a war hero. Here is a guy that a lot of people probably won't even think twice. You hear this, we support the troops. There's commercials out there where troops will be walking down the airport, and people will clap, like, thank you for your service. But what happens after they take the uniform off? What the Vet Hunters does is uh, we're pretty much primarily um, active duty military personnel, reservist, veterans, and community people that have gotten together and said, you know, enough is enough. The word homeless and veterans should never go together. So we're out there and we're on the streets and we're bringing resources to veterans where they live. I too was homeless. I know what it's like to be homeless. I lived in shelters. I lived in homeless shelters with my family, so I knew what it was like. Hey, come on down over here, guys. Let's go through this and see what you guys can get. So go ahead, come on down. You guys see what's in here. There's male, female stuff. Come check it out. What you're looking at here is the United States. This is American soil right here. This is it, right? And the reason why I tell you that is because this is not Kuwait, this is not Haiti, this is not, not a third world country, but you will find a homeless American. He's an advocate we call Johnny the mayor. And Johnny basically paves the way for us. He's the one that gives the all clear. When I first met Joe and the Vet Hunters, I had no idea who they were. We talked for a while and I see what they do and see how fast they work. The Vet Hunters Project is uh, kind of unique because they actually go out and look for homeless veterans. Other organizations wait for the, the service member or whoever needs the services to come to them. We come out, we have a rule of vet hunters. We leave, leave them better than we found them. This is all they have and, you know, we're here to give what we can. Vet hunters has a, a, an impact on the community in the sense that uh, they're able to cut the red tape like they claim they do, and they're able to help a veteran in the need quick. Uh, well, you know, uh, I served in Iraq. Um, I lost my best friend. His name is uh, Master Sergeant Kelly Ballor. I uh, was like a brother to me. Could have either taken all the medication that they would give me to deal with this pain that I had. And I'm not talking about physical pain, I'm talking about the one that people don't see. Or I could have found an alternate solution, and that is to serve. Now, I could have converted that anger into negative, but I chose to do positive when I lost my friend. And I started to realize that now I have a purpose in my life. And when you're helping people out, it gives you a little piece of your life back. I decided to educate myself. I decided to become an advocate and go out and advocate for what I call the heroes in the shadows. Hey guys, there's some, uh, some emergency kits and all this over here, come grab some. It just means we're not heroes, we're just regular people doing amazing things. This is uh, one of my heroes, Benny. Benny is a veteran. Not too long ago, he was a homeless veteran. Um, and, and Benny lived in one of the worst conditions that you can imagine. You talked about one time about you got hit in the jaw or something like that? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, they hit in the jaw. I got hit with an RPG that's a lot of throw grenade. I used to be dragged. All this hair on the side of my face right here is all metal. And it's hard for me to sleep or get comfortable at night. It is, um, it's a man in a lot of pain, you know? We went under the bridge. We would check on Benny all the time. He must have told us no, really, I'm not making this up. Easily over 50 times he told us no. He's had his apartment for how long, Ben? Um, going on uh, three months. We took the word homeless away from veteran. That is the most powerful thing that took place here. Benny is a veteran. He does not have that homeless. The only one that uh, took interest in me is this gentleman right here. And that gives me hope. 
he went from under a bridge surrounded by rocks to a memory foam mattress. Man, I, 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 feel, I feel like a king. I no kidding, I feel like a king in my own bed. So I serve troops, I serve families, and I serve veterans, the same ones that have made our freedoms possible. Everybody has the opportunity to go out and affect positive change in their community. You can do it, whether it's five minutes, whether it's donating to your local organization, whether it's giving to the church, whatever it is, we all have time to do something. That's how America was founded. It was founded by helping others, by volunteerism. That is the fabric of the red, white, and blue.